my name is Randeep and I'm one of the Menlo Park vloggers. This is the third and unfortunately my final vlog sharing my thoughts and experiences um, over the duration of my GP training. Uh, but to see some of my peers and some of my other vlogs, uh, please be sure to follow Menlo Park on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube uh, so that you don't miss out on any of these videos. And if you have any questions for me, please pop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to try to answer them. So today I thought I would answer the question, how do I deal with stress as a GP trainee? And I think it's worth starting by saying that GP training is by no means a walk in the park. It's a very condensed learning journey and in, there's an incredible amount of firsts compared to the hospital environments that we're used to. And I think sometimes we can overlook uh, just how much of a drastic change it can be transitioning from secondary into primary care. And so for me, um, I used a strategy to sort of maintain more of a healthy and happy uh, training experience. Um, and that was to compartmentalize my life. And I think it's important to say life because being a doctor is a, a life choice, it is a lifestyle, um, and sometimes it can really overshadow everything else um, that goes on. And I've always found, particularly at the beginning of my training and around exam periods, that the compartment that took over most of my life, or even entirely my life, um, was being a doctor in training. And it took me a while to, to realise, really, that I wasn't being productive um, and that I needed to restart and refocus um, on some new compartments uh, and some other compartments in my life that I'd been neglecting. And so I really identified three other compartments, three other categories that I needed to reintroduce in order to keep me motivated um, and to make sure that I was effective both uh, at work and outside of work and got really the most of the training program at the same time. And I think these compartments will slightly differ for everyone depending on your circumstances, but there's an extensive amount of research uh, into psychology that suggests all three of these compartments can have a positive impact um, on effectiveness and also on mental health. So the first of, of my compartments was physical health. So for me, a uh, healthy body, healthy mind. So whether that's exercising regularly, uh, whether that's nutritionally eating a well-balanced diet, um, or whether that's getting good quality sleep. It's the same kind of things that we prescribe to our patients who um, are stressed or who are burnt out, but things that we don't necessarily um, follow ourselves. So it's really important for me to do those things to get that endorphin release. Um, and reduce stress. So that's physical health. The second is social and relationships. So I think it's important to maintain relationships um, and a social life outside of work. Uh, as doctors, we often miss out on a lot of uh, these opportunities and socials and events because of working hours and training commitments. And so we really have to make that extra special effort um, to keep that alive and to have that release and have that support network. Um, and I think everyone will require some support uh, in some form or another during their training. So that's quite important as well. Um, and then the third one I'd say for me was extracurricular activities or hobbies. So um, I really enjoy traveling, for example. And I think it can be very easy to get bogged down with training and bogged down with clinical practice and neglect your other passions. Um, and it's really important to keep those other passions alive and keep those parts of your brain active um, in order to really exercise that enthusiasm and, and keep your interests alive outside of the working environment. So for me, compartments being physical health, uh, social and relationships and extracurricular activities and hobbies and by no means are these mutually exclusive um, but they act as a guide to keeping a healthy work-life balance which is vital in reducing stress 
and it's been a really useful tool that I've used to get me past the AKT um, and the RCA um, right up until my CCT in a few months time. So I hope you've enjoyed my vlog uh, and it's been a pleasure sharing my thoughts and experiences with you all. Thank you.